What is going on everyone? Today we have the 2020 Lincoln Aviator and check this out, the Lincoln Embrace. You got the illuminated emblem, you've got the lights that light up, and then over here the door handles light up. And take a look at that, you even have the emblem on the ground. So you've got that nice approach lighting. Then as we come around to the back, even the back lights light up. So this is when you approach the vehicle, the Lincoln Embrace, which is standard. Now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. Now that little light show that you just saw is what happens when you approach the vehicle with your key fob. In this review, I'm going to show you these exterior lights, the cool interior lights and ambient lights, and take this for a test drive so you can see just how well these awesome headlights do. I also have a full review. If you want to check that out, look in the description box below. So right away up front, not every vehicle or not every trim is going to get that illuminated star in the middle. This is the black label, so of course we get it with everything else. Now. We also have standard LED headlights and LED daytime running lights, but we have the available Pixel adaptive LED lights. These are fantastic. I'll show you just how well they do in the test drive. Then you got LED fog lights on everything except the base model as well. Those do a nice job as well. This front end looks very sleek. And then you've got the LED blinker separate from the fog lights and the headlight housings. What do y'all think of that? This Lincoln Aviator color is the pristine white and it is a beautiful paint on this car it is not ivory but it is definitely metallic -y and it looks really good with this aviator and the accent pieces what do y'all think of the design i think lincoln did a nice job with this aviator all around on the exterior design as we come around to the back you can see that led blinker over here you got full led tail lights you've got that marker light there you've got this redundant led light bar some people like the light bar some don't you also have Lincoln stamped across up above, LED license plate lights, and then you've even got full LED brake lights and reverse lights. This does have a hands-free lift access, or you can just push a button up under there. And then you've got pretty good space back here. You get a little light up above for your cargo area and a light to the right side over here. So you can see everything is lit up pretty well. You won't really have any problems with that. And you've got interior lights that will shine down for like the second and third row that will illuminate if you have the whole cargo area down. I'll show you more in the full review. And even your buttons up here to lock it or just lower it are also illuminated. Now as we go ahead and look into the back seat, these are some really interesting door handles and the lights, they actually light up as well as you'd expect. There is some ambient lighting that you do get in the back seat. You can see a little bit in the door handle and underneath right there under that driver's seat. But as you take a look at the rest of the interior, this back seat really isn't illuminated that well. As you can see, we have a panoramic roof, so the lights are only on the side. You don't really get any in the middle. Let me show you the rest. Now a quick look at the back seat. We have a full center console, so you have these illuminated cup holders. You even have a couple of buttons right here to work your overhead uh, moonroof shade, which is pretty cool. And then right in front, you get your own dual zone climate control. You can control your audio, different settings, your seat controls, heated and ventilated seats. So it's really cool that all that is right in front of you. And then as we go to the front, you've got this touch pad, just like you do with Fords and other Lincolns. This door handle lights up when you approach it or open it as well. You've also got the illuminated Lincoln sill plates, which is nice. Some illumination on the door. And then this interior, the front interior is illuminated a little bit better. It's kind of hard to tell because of this dark leather. But let's go ahead and hop in. Now as you hop inside, push button start is right here. And you get these clouds in front of you, kind of a nice chime as it starts up. And then over on the door, you can see this outline. These are all the seat controls. You've got your memory settings as well. I'll show you all the different seat controls and massage settings. But as you can see, all the buttons down there are illuminated. And then all of your actual light controls down here are illuminated as well. On the right here, you can control your interior brightness with that. This is for your actual headlight, daytime running light, turning that on and off, fog lights, and then you can open up your cargo area. Right in front of us, the steering wheel is a little bit interesting. It's a very nice steering wheel, very soft. The buttons are illuminated, but it changes depending on what you're doing. So you turn that on and then you get more buttons down here. So they're not illuminated and then they are. And it's not just at night. During the day, you can't see what they are either. Lincoln has a nice clean display right here. You can control everything with the steering wheel toggles. It's not quite as in depth as I was hoping, but you can customize your display, uh, different screens that you wanna see on here. So 
there is a little bit of customization, but not quite as much as I was expecting, although it is still a nice screen. And then right up above, you get a really nice head-up display. You can move it up and down for a pretty big range of motion, and you can choose what you see. As you can see, we have the time, temperature, speed, radar stuff on there, and your fuel tank or your fuel range, but you can have just the speed or turn it off if you want. As we come across, we have a tablet style screen, just kind of sits straight up, but it's convenient, easy to reach, and it's, it's very similar to what you see in some other Lincolns and even Ford products, the same kind of system. All these shortcuts at the bottom, you can change the background of the screen and the brightness of the screen as well. I'll cover that a little bit more in detail in the full review, but check this out. You do have a surround view camera that does work pretty well. You can see um, over top the vehicle and when you're actually in reverse and driving, you have those lane lines and then you even have a uh, parking sonar and an actual park assist. The gear selector is down here. So you've got these buttons for your park all the way to drive. And then you have illuminated buttons for your radio and climate control settings on here as well. There's also a little illuminated storage area with the nice ambient lighting. It is not actually blinking like that. That is just from the camera. There's plenty more ambient lighting. So you have some down here. You have rings in the cup holders as well. Your drive mode button is illuminated, your parking brake, open up the center console, and you have a nice bright illuminated center console as well. There's more illumination down at your feet, and Lincoln gives you an illuminated glove box, although it is kind of hard to tell from here, but there is a light in there. Right up above, you've got all easy to see controls and lights. You have touch sensitive lights up here. Um, these little lights right here actually shine down over your center area, like your bottle holder and shifter area, and give you a little bit of illumination down there. Now, if you want to change the ambient light colors or the background, you go to settings. There's a lot of different things that you can customize on here as well. You can go to display to change this actual display brightness and settings. Otherwise, you can go to ambient light and then check it out. I have it on like a, it's kind of like a purpley violet color. And it really doesn't look like that in here or on the camera. But then you have uh, different colors from green to red to yellow to white. And if you want to adjust the brightness, all you got to do is tap and then you can turn it completely off or you can turn it back on or somewhere in the middle. So that is pretty cool. And overall, it's just a really nice place to be with some gentle ambient light, nice backlit buttons and a comfy place. Now let's take a look at the headlights, turn it on. Got a little adaptive dance when you do that because we have the adaptive headlights. So as we take a look, they have a really nice beam pattern, nice and strong across, extra bright in the middle and very bright up close and even off onto the side. So the fog lights are on right now. I'm gonna turn those off. You can see that just that little bit right down there appear and reappear and disappear, I mean. And then high beams, low beams, high beams, very bright spread. Now the IIHS gives these top of the line headlights the best good rating with the adaptive lights. If you don't have the adaptive lights on the base model or don't option up for them on the other trims, you just get a marginal rating. All right, y'all, let's get going in this test drive, put it in drive. So in this drive, I'm gonna give you an idea of what it's like from a point of view, driving the Aviator on some dark roads. We'll see how the high beams do, automatic high beams, the adaptive headlights, and uh, we'll get a close up from this camera angle in just a little bit. So right off the bat, there's a couple special things about these headlights. They are adaptive, so they will swivel side to side. But in addition to that, they are speed dependent. So at slow speeds and low speeds, they focus on being wide. They don't go quite as far with their distance, but they're really wide. So if you're taking corners at low speeds or you come to a stop and you want some good peripheral vision, they give you excellent peripheral vision. So as I come to a stop right here, to give you a little look nice beam pattern out front but very wide out there you would never guess if the fog lights are on or off because they're just so wide now like i said i have a full review of the aviator with a more with a little bit of a longer test drive talking about driving impressions but as i always do on my night review let's get a little acceleration here and go This thing gets up and goes. This car is not a slow <laughs> SUV. So this thing gets gets moving very fast. 400 horsepower, over 400 pound-feet of torque. But we'll look at the lights on a dark road in a sec. The automatic high beams are set to on. 
and the high beams are currently off. Some vehicles are not sensitive of the overhead street lights to where they actually will turn the high beams on here, but that has not been the case with this Lincoln. In the last Lincoln Navigator I had, those were probably some of the, my favorite headlights I've ever driven with, and these ones are just like that, so they are fantastic. Now the high beams actually just turned on and they just turned back off with the oncoming traffic. So they were responsive. As soon as that traffic came over the hill, they were off. And now they're back on. And the high beams are fantastic. They are, they have great distance, but they're also wide. It's not like a straight needle pinstripe shoot down the middle. You got a wide distance with that. One quick note, you have a frameless automatic dimming rear view mirror, an automatic dimming driver's side mirror, but you do not have an automatic dimming passenger side mirror, which is disappointing on this 80 plus thousand dollar black label. High beams were on and they just turned off for that car. So we've already gotten a few good tests with that. We'll get on a dark road and see just how well these headlights do. All right, we're just about to turn on to a darker road here. I'll change up the camera angles a couple times to give you a close up. All right, I'm gonna keep the um, low beams on now no high beams got a really nice beam pattern out front you can see the markers on the road really well nice and wide distance isn't fantastic it is still good we're kind of pointed downhill and that's doing nice okay automatic high beams back on turn them back off so you can see the adaptive function a little bit better look at that those adaptive lights go exactly to where the road is we're doing a nice job there's a little bit of a cutout in them as intended they're doing very nice low beams are still on and then high beams you can see way out into the distance low beams low beams still do a nice job high beams just fantastic so the um, the left lane the oncoming traffic lane definitely has a little bit of a cutoff which is expected but the width is still really good with these and when you get up to higher speeds, they do narrow out a little bit, so you lose a little bit of the width and the peripheral vision, but overall doing very well in the low beams. Fog lights on, fog lights off. You can barely tell a difference with normal conditions like this. Adaptive lights, again, doing a nice job. Low beams, you can see straight ahead pretty well. High beams, look at that. That is great. That is some of the best high beam action that I have seen. Hope you can get a good idea of what that looks like. Low beams, a little more of a cutoff than I was hoping for over there, but that does help to prevent oncoming drivers. And out wide into the peripheral vision, fog lights on, fog lights off, not much of a difference. It's mostly immediate, and I'm sure it works well in adverse conditions, but I have not been able to use them for that. But these headlights are just excellent. The ambiance in here is excellent. I've been very happy with how well they do, especially this time of year as I'm filming. It's starting to get darker out, moving into fall, and my confidence with these headlights is just excellent. These do not have the detection of people or animals or anything like Cadillac. Um, so that's one thing that you don't get with Lincoln versus Cadillac. I think it's called night vision, can't remember. But otherwise, overall, very happy with these headlights, the overall ambiance in here the drivability of this lincoln aviator is very nice i love the embrace lighting as you approach the vehicle just so much to like about the aviator in general and i hope you all have enjoyed this video please be sure to check out my full review and hope you all have a fantastic day subscribe for more night videos and we'll catch you later